ta -da! Today we are doing one of the, I guess, maybe one of the most awaited episodes on this channel. We are comparing all the grinders that I own, um, depending on the micro finds that they produce. So the micro finds, they are the ones responsible for the body, the sweetness, and over extraction on your cup. The amount of micro fine particles produced by your grinder will dictate how much um, sweetness or how much body your cup, your coffee will get. This will also dictate how easily you can over extract your coffee. So we have five different grinders here. We have the Comandante X25 Trail Master. We have the King Grinder K6. We have the Easy Presso Q Air. We have a Commandante C40. And the latest addition to our um, roster. This is the Easy Presso ZP6. Alright. So of all the five of all the five grinders, the ZP6 has the reputation of producing the least amount of microfine particles. So today. We are gonna test that theory and prove if if the ZP6 will produce the least amount of microfine particles, right? So the things that we need for this um, experiment is, of course, the grinders. I'm gonna set this aside here. Okay. We need a scale. Right? And of course, the crew sifter. Right. So I'm gonna put this here first for now. So um, let's start with, uh, I think I wanna start with the King Grinder K6. So to make this, to make this experiment fair, I will refer to the I will refer to the conversion chart that I made. So what we're gonna do now is we, we are going to set all the different grinders to the same micron size setting. And then we will be able to determine um, which grinder produces the most amount of microfine particles and the least amount of microfine particles. Right? Then K6 Muna. I think let's do 15 gram doses. Okay, so for the 15 grams, it took us 20 seconds. Now on the crew, we have um, for the first layer, this is 1100 microns. And for the second layer, this is 300 microns. So we will be able to separate the boulders to mid-size and then the microfine particles. Right. I'm gonna time the um, shaking as well. So we're gonna do 30 seconds for each of the um, coffee gr oh, for each of the grinder. We have 6.6. .6. Next, the mid size. The mid size is seven point nine. Now we're gonna do the microfine particles. Okay, so the microfine particles is not that bad. 
Okay, it reads point 0.4. Zero point four grams. Fifteen grams is thirty five seconds. Okay, now we're going to sift. Okay, wow, surprisingly, we have. 6.6 .6 again and then the mid size the mid size is 7.9 as well ah no it's 8 grams you might get a better reading out of this 0 0.3 Mm, interesting, interesting. Okay, now let's do the Comandante Trailmaster. Surprisingly, it took longer. Trailmaster, 15 grams is 37 seconds. Right. So the boulders is 7.6. Wow. Next that we're going to test is the mid size. Okay, so for the mid size we have 6.5. And then I'm not sure if I can still weigh this, but look at that. There is almost nothing there. Yeah, that is the microfine particles of the X25 Trailmaster. It's not reading anything. Yeah, nothing. Nag fluctuate siya to 0 0.2. So, okay. Okay, next we're gonna do the C40. Okay, so the boulders is 8.2. Wow, if you look at the if you look at the mid size of the commandante, oh grabe, sobrang uniform. Okay, so the mid size of the C40 is 6.9. Next is the with the microphone again, almost nothing there. That is the microphone of the C40. It's not reading it. Yeah, it's not reading it. Yeah, sobra konti oh. okay, I need to take a picture. Last but not the least, the ZP6. So far, ang leading natin is yung C40. Very minimal microfine particles. Hindi siya mabasa ng scale. Um, we're gonna measure for the boulders. Alright, so ang boulders ni ZP6 ay 9.4. Biggest among other grinders. Okay, the mid size is 5 grams. Hey, do you want to see how konte talaga? There is almost nothing there. We're still gonna try to weigh it. The scale is not reading it either. Okay, look. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna put the table on the screen now. Um, we have the K6 as, as, as the fastest grinder for the 15 gram dose. Next is the ZP6. C40 and the Trailmaster um, finished the longest at 37 seconds. And then followed by the Q Air. Right. Now let's look at this um, boulders. Um, look at this boulders um, line right here. So with the K6, we have 6.6 .6, as well as the Q Air. It changes with the Trailmaster, the C40, and the ZP6. So the ZP6 has the most boulders. Followed by the C40 and the least amount of boulders is with the Q K6 and the Q Air. The C40 and the Trailmaster, while they both have the Serm Burset, I think um, this is because of the chamber size. So since, uh, since the C40 has a larger chamber size, um, I think it creates more um, more boulders right um, next is the mid-sized particles okay with the mid-sized particles the Q air won by 0.1 grams the Q air has the best mid-sized um, mid-sized um, consistency across all the different grinders it has the yeah it has the most mid-sized consistency right followed by the k6 and the zp6 being the last 5.2 okay last we look at the microfine particles right here. So the K6 has the most uh, microfine particles at 0.4 grams, followed by the Q Air and the Trailmaster at 0.3 and 0.2 respectively. But look at the C40 and the ZP6. They both have the amount of microfine particles that the scale is unable to read. Okay, so if we add those up, that is 14.9. Okay, so I guess meron tayong 0.1 na retention with the K6. Next is, we also have 14.9. Next is the Trailmaster, that is 14.3. Next is the C40, 8.2 plus 6.8 equals 15 oh, this is exactly 15 except we have microfine particles that is um, that the scale is unable to read and then the ZP6 at 9.4 plus 5.2 is 14.6 the C40 has the least amount of retention I guess Followed with the trail, ah, followed by the K6 and the Q Air, um, lesser um, retention, and then the ZP6 with 14.6, and then the the Trailmaster has the has most retention, understandably because the chamber of the Trailmaster is different. It has a lot of nooks and crannies this is a nice um experiment i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you learned something in the next videos because this video is going to be too long now in the next videos i will use this um i will use this table so that we can make an a, so that we can make a proper interpretation of these numbers and what are the effects on your coffee?
right? But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!